deck count as a meme? Kinda? I think so. I feel like anything that can win on turn one has to count as a meme, right? It's fair. It's moderately competitive, though. It's like one of them, one of them dank memes. I think I forgot to update Stream Decker, though. Let's do that real quick, just in case. Um, what is... This hand doesn't really do anything, right? If it had some, had some ways to, if it had like a Faithless Looting in it, or a Night Whisper would be quite excellent, but it just really doesn't accomplish anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan. This hand's fine. It's like not exciting, but fine. If we hit a Gristlebrand, we can bin it with a Cathartic Reunion or a Lightning Axe, then Gorgeous Vengeance. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that, chat. Good. It's going to be one of those days. It's going to be it's going to be one of those just like we drew it up type days. That's excellent. That's excellent. Sulfur Sulfur Falls is a little bit scary. Cathartic Reunion is pretty bad against Counter Magic. Sulfur Falls opt. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, chat, for those of you that are not new here, you are well aware of the fact that we don't play decks like this to play around things like Spell Snare. Phyrexian Fox, with the five month resubscription, thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate it. So we're going to just GM this reunion in here. It's possible that I should bin the Worm instead of the Lightning Axe because there's a non-zero chance our Jeskai opponent could be playing Spell Queller. And then if they're playing Spell Queller, I would like to keep that Lightning Axe around. Yeah, Lightning Axe isn't instead. Thank you for the five months, Frexian Fox. Gristle Daddy gonna give it to him, hopefully. Cast a Geist to Singe. Oh, search for his canty. Yep, that one resolves. That one, that one certainly resolves. All right, let's see if they've got a Spell Snare now. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And we do, we do need to be a little bit careful and play around lightning bolt here. We do need, do need to be a little bit careful and play around lightning bolt. So we're gonna play, play around lightning bolt to the best of our ability. Are they? I can breach this board already, right? Because I have a, I have a land here. And then I've got one, two, three monkeys, and I can use uh, Splice under Arcane Tribal here. Hey, Admiral O's bot, big gristle daddy going to, going to draw a lot of cards. Thank you for the seven month Twitch Prime resubscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. So let's cast this one off of this. Gosh, Splice into Arcane Tribal is such a good archetype. What if, what if we put this little piggy into play and the little piggies went, wee, wee. All the way home. Gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Nice just guy deck opponent. Good, good, clean, interactive magic gathering. Super clean, super clean sideboard plan in this matchup too, right? It's just like packs and brutality in. Do I want these Chalice of the Voids? I probably don't mind these, right? Because they, they have opt, which means they probably have serum visions too. Probably have serum visions too. They did, and we definitely like want to stop Path to Exile. A Libelik with the two month free subscription. Thanks for re upping and welcome back. We do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'm gonna trim a Desperate Ritual because going fast isn't necessarily what you always want to do against the the Counterspell decks. Is this a World Spine Worm out? I think this is a World Spine Worm out. This is a world spine worm out. Okay, I think I like that. I guess if I'm bringing in Chalice with the intention of putting it on one, trimming up Faithless Looting isn't the worst idea in the world. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that assessment. For planning, for planning to slide out the old Chalice of the Void. Probably want.
Does this hand, this hand just doesn't do enough, right? Like I keep, I, we keep some slower hands in, in matches like this, but I think this is just like not, this is just not gonna be good enough. Love the latest rain. Thank you for being the magic vigil vigilante the world deserves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they kind of do nothing. So like, if we're gonna be able to actually kill our opponent, we probably need disruption from cards like those. Everybody can check close seven and unkeepable six off your bingo cards. Get that one. Get that one out of the way nice and early. Bottom end. I'm looking for like Knight's Whispers here, I think. That's the card that lets us recover from. Recover from. You know what? I'm going to add a command for the rants, actually, because I've been keeping them in a playlist. So I'm going to do that real quick. Good morning, and thank you for your dress up rant yesterday. I feel like that's a typo at some uh, somewhere, but I I'm glad people I'm glad people appreciate appreciate the rants. Yeah, it's, but it's a good idea to start highlighting things like that. I feel like we have a lot of a lot of really good nuggets on the stream. All right, this is. Look at that. There we go. All right. Feeling kind of medium. This is definitely a matchup where if I had access to Blood Moon, I probably would have brought Blood Moon in. But I honestly, I don't know if I even want would want Blood Moon more than Chalice of the Void. So it's kind of interesting to think about, like, would I want that in my sideboard plan? One of the things, the last Gristlebrand League we played with this deck, we had four copies of Layland of Sanctity on the board. I'm doing that again because I haven't really, don't really have a good feel for whether or not that's good, bad, or otherwise just yet. Start with this, see where we get from here. Ritual and Pact of Negation. Uh, I think this is like Bin, Shoal Bin Ritual. It's when I keep hitting my land drops, I think. Pact is good because it can protect a World Spine Worm from a Path to Exile if we hit one. I have no idea. I actually didn't watch the final game of the Pro Tour because I started streaming before it before they finished. Because I always always like to be on a little bit before the major event wraps up. Well, I mean, oh, the Pact can't even protect this, right? I'm dumb because they're not actually going to die to this. I'm silly. I'm a silly Billy. Holding this doesn't really accomplish anything. Am I just passing for now? Yeah, I'm under no pressure. I'm just going to pass for now. It's pretty good for us. I'm gonna play this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and flash back this Faithless Looting at this point, I think. It kind of sucks that I shuffled the couple of cards I scried bottom back into my deck, but I think this is fine, especially since I've got two lands that I'm not particularly interested in having later. Well, this is good. Now, so this hand actually sets up really well to kind of show you how you play through Blue Disruption with this deck. So Through the Breach is an instant that you can cast during your opponent's end step and have the creature live until your end step. So, Oh. Oh, well, hopefully they're dead now. Hopefully. Hopefully they're dead. They, had, they need, like, double Dispel here. They need, like, double Dispel. It is, it is worth noting that my health total is currently at 17, which means if I draw twice, I die to Lightning Bolt. So hopefully they cast a two-mana counter spell, and then we pack to them, and then we can just, like, you know, play for play, play with free rain or whatever. Yeah, sweet. Use my no button. Stop it. Bad. Bad opponent. Stop it. Oh, look. Look, we found some candy, chat. We found we found some candy. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm definitely putting this into place. Let's do that now. Um Oh, we found another we found another worm too. That's just that's just that's just delicious. It's just delicious. Oh, they don't want to play magic anymore with me, chat. Don't you want to play more magic, opponent? Opponent, come back. 
I wasn't done drawing cards. <sighs> They're so mean. They're so mean. How's everyone doing? Happy Monday. Welcome to the start of a new week. Hanging out, playing some Mujik of the Gathering. We're gonna have an have an all modern day today, I think. Got a bunch of sweet ones lined up. We're starting off with some Grishel Brand. I'm gonna play some Black Green Midrange. I've got a really sweet Jeskai Tokens deck. It's using Jeskai Ascendancy in a little bit more fair manner than some of the other Ascendancy decks that we've played. Spent too much time on legacy videos waiting for them to force. <laughs> right? The only force of will here is in my degenerate deck. Um, this is actually an okay keep, I think, because uh, if we hit a Simeon Spirit Guide or a Desperate Ritual, we can actually turn three Breach Worm because we can shoal Pitch Borborygmo Splice this. Because remember, the Splice cost on uh, through the Breach is one cheaper than its casting cost. Our meme deck just interacted with counter spells. What hath Richard Garfield wrought among? To be fair, Garfield probably didn't design Pact of Negation. To be fair, I would be surprised if Garfield designed Pact of Negation. Uh, yeah, exclamation point help wannabe beetle. We'll pull up all the commands that our channel has. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to keep this because, like I said, we're looking for a piece of fast mana. So using Faithless to do try and propel us to a piece of fast mana sounds appealing. Did you see the Tin Fins variation we played on stream last night? It was quite excellent. And look, by just just for so people understand, people who get upset with things like Tin Fins happening them in, happening to them in Legacy, they shouldn't be playing Legacy because that's the kind of horseshit that happens with some consistency in Legacy. And if you can't accept that that's how some of your games are going to end, you should really play a different format. Standard's great, I hear. Well, that's quite excellent. That's like exactly what we wanted, right? So I'm gonna discard these two. I'm going to go ahead and play this land, and then uh, next turn we can uh, splice onto Arcane Tribal them. It is worth noting they're at 16, which is a little bit awkward, and like because the Worm doesn't actually kill them, my opponent could untap and Storm us on their turn 4, but we'll see, we'll see. Yep. Hopefully we're, we're a true professional and we draw Gristlebrand here, and then we get to combo them, but if we don't draw Gristlebrand, we could lose this game with them at 1. It's unfortunate. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give it the old college best, as we like to say around here. So we'll cast this. And we'll go splice onto arcane tribal. Cast this. Floop the pig into play. A hey, slight with the five month resubscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. It's a good while. So re up in. What are your thoughts about the Jund Dragons list on Reddit? I have no idea what that is. So zero idea what a Jund Dragons list consists of. I assume we're gonna die here, but you know, let them do their thing. Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! All right, so Cathartic Reunion's kind of bad here because they tend to have remands in their deck. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that when I have Ley Lines in my board, I'd rather have Ley Line in this matchup than Chalice of the Void, just because like Ley Line stopping Gifts Ungiven is pretty big game. I think I'm supposed to be on the Ignore Their Guy plan. That seems pretty reasonable. I'm going to trim a worm, too, because the worm plan usually isn't good enough. Although Lightning Axe, if I'm trimming, if I'm trimming these two, I probably don't want to trim that many ways to get things into my discard pile. Maybe I just trim a Borby. I might be going down too many green cards, though. I usually don't like to trim more than one of this. It's not, our our nut draws are faster than their nut draws, but I think our average draw is actually a touch slower than their average draw a lot of the time. What's going on, Crane? I'm glad you've been enjoying the YouTube stuff. Welcome to a live one. Happy Monday. Good morning or afternoon, wherever you're at.
a Lib Libelec with the ten dollar donation there. One month in Hoaglandia and the grass is definitely pretty green here. Here's to many more. Throw this towards some modern people cannon. Sounds great. Thank you for the support. Happy to load load that one back up into the queue and blast it off at some point in the future. It's a sweet one. Well, this is this is super easy keep, right, chat? You just gotta snap off all the ley line hands. Just maybe maybe at six with a scry. Maybe at six with a scry. It's not gonna be this hand is this hand is more than good it's great we're gonna bottom this because we're looking for Gorio's vengeance we're gonna flip this little piggy into play and soon we're gonna flip this piggy into play hopefully hopefully we're gonna flip this pig real soon you see the Gorio's deck I did not I did not uh, I did not watch much magic after I signed off last night my wife and I watched a couple episodes of a show on Hulu and then I went to bed your EV concessions, 10 out of 10, make viewing more enjoyable. I was watching a streamer yesterday, and he got turned three card, essentially 1%. Yeah, it's... Watch it. I, it's, it's tough. I think the actual worst is when, like, the, the people are, like, deterministically dead, and they don't concede. It's just like, come on, what are we doing with our lives? Like, why are you... Why are we still... Why are you still playing Magic? You're, like, gonna make the Storm player click through their combo for the next 30, 20, 22 minutes. Uh, honestly, the iterations of this deck that I play aren't... Oh, baby. Hit me, baby, one more time. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so this is actually interesting. The Nourishing Shoal Draw is a reason to have kept Borborygmos in my hand, so maybe I shouldn't have discarded that. I think there's a good good chance that I shouldn't have discarded the Borb. Hopefully we draw a Worm and it doesn't matter, but there's a non-zero chance that I shouldn't have discarded Borby last turn. Deep... Deep. Wow, yeah, see, like, we're running pretty cold here. Just throw out your rant about rules, lawyering, and after having called a judge a few times Saturday at regionals, for what I know were honest mistakes and apologize and reduce it, the judges actually said that not calling judges for... Yes, correct, yes. If you... I can't tell you, I the person that I have called the most judges on in my history of playing competitive magic is myself. I can't tell you the number of times, like, you know, you go to pick up two cards and they're new sleeves and, like, the second one sticks to your other one and you're like, oh, well, this is awkward, but, like, I have to call a judge because, like, the judge is the person that's supposed to fix this. Or, like, when I played, I played a ton of standard when Core Serve Crew Fix was legal, so, like, the number of times where, like, you flip, you had, you had, we call, the judges actually call it Phantom Courser a lot of the time because, like, you just, like, instinctually flipped up the next card on your deck because you were used to Courser being in play. Faithless Looting. Apparently it works now, DMG. I did. I got the sneak and show list added to the thing. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. All right. Did we draw... Did we draw enough of these idiots? I think we drew enough of those. Do I have one in my hand from earlier? Phyrexian Fox with the $10 donation. Four months... Oh, wait. Phyrexian Fox. Someone said modern meme cannon. I simply can't ignore, ignore it. Add more money. 10 out of 10 will do. And then Chris Wolzik. Four months of hot steamy memes. Thank you for the four-month resubscription. Sorry. All right. Was there another... I think there was another... Uh, what's it called over here, right? I had a spirit guide to start. All right. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and pitch this. Splice additional spells. So I'm going to exile... I'm going to exile this worm. And then I'm going to go ahead and splice this desperate ritual, pitching this monkey. And this monkey. We do actually need... Oh, we don't, we don't even actually need one more mana, right? Because um, I have another, I have another shoal down here. I have two more shoals, so I can, I can shoal, so I can cast, I can cast this, and then I can shoal, pitch, shoal, put in Borberg. Oh, oh wait, do I have another Borby? Actually, I don't actually have another Borby, do I? So I need to, I need to take a, take a couple more hits here. J Bot. With the three month resubscription, no better way to start a day than beating Darns on Turgeon. That's what I'm saying. It's the perfect start to a Monday. It's the perfect start to a Monday. All right, there's a there's a Manamorphose. Let's just go ahead and cast that one. And we can go ahead and make some black mana here. You can flip this other little piggy into play. Your donation queue only seems to be getting bigger. So here's here's the thing about the donation queue. 
The, the problem is like I can stream more to like get more decks out of it But the more I stream the more people put decks in the queue so It's kind of it's kind of like I feel like they're not conceding. I'm definitely killing the morale There's no way I'm not doing that. I don't think I've ever gone through a comp barrel without at least one judge call Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that's I think that's a good assessment I think a lot of the times you're just gonna have mistakes that happen. Yeah, I like they conceded to the killing Burrell. Well, we're waiting for the third batch of this league to pop where we are 2-0 with some some dank Grishel brand memes. Uh, thanks everyone for dropping in today. I hope everyone's having a good start to their week. Happy Monday. My name is Jeff Holgan. I'm a full-time streamer, memer, content producer here on Twitch. I stream Magic for 30 plus hours a week. We play a ton of Modern. We play some Legacy. We play some Vintage. I also stream some Hearthstone and some Hex on this channel in my off time. If you're enjoying my stuff, please consider doing like so many wonderful people have done today with the resubs and subscribe to my channel. My subscribers are the reason why I'm able to do this full time as a job. If you're one of the many people out there who has Amazon Prime, if you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, they get you Twitch Prime included for free in there. And then uh, Twitch Prime gets you a free channel subscription to a channel of your choice every single month. You can also support myself by checking out some of my wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. If you just go to Hoagland PayPal and check out with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles using promo code JEFF5. You can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code JEFF12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. And of course, I would like to welcome everyone to Hoaglandia, myself and the wonderful moderator staff. Please talk to your friendly neighborhood moderator about your complimentary timeout. We are 4020 in this league. Uh, this hand is like Dece Plus, so we're going to keep it. A couple of temples are a little bit slow, but that's okay. We need a, we need a Gorio's Vengeance anyways. Someone someone asked earlier, what do they say? Jeff explaining his donation queue. I can play more decks, which makes people give me more money, but then I have to play more decks. And aw, shucks. At what point, how many decks in the queue before we'll stop taking donations? I don't ever intend to stop taking donations. So I don't play a lot of serious events, but I did play one a month ago. So my opponent mulligans to six and drew seven cards. I stopped him before putting before putting them in his hand. Is this something you should call a judge on? Yeah, probably. You should here's here's the here's the the, the TLDR for when you should call a judge. If you're not sure if you should call a judge, call a judge. That's that's the best the best the best the best shorthand for figuring out what what you're supposed to do. If you if you're ever if you're never not sure if you should call a judge call a judge just to be safe a G H I with the two-month resubscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. I Will remember that I said that Justin also remember that I've said pretty constantly and consistently that I reserve the right to refuse any donation decks at any point for any reason That's that's also part of it. Do you think JAC or Grishel Brand is more powerful slash consistent? Um, I don't know, actually. Like, this deck's sweet. I, I, so here's my... I feel like... Actually, I do have an answer to that. I think this deck is more volatile. I think this deck does what it wants to do earlier more consistently, but I feel like JAC has a little bit more play to it and gives me a little bit more bobbing and weaving in the harder matchups because of all the cantrips that it gets to play. Been watching for about a month to see your bant list. You've become my new favorite streamer because of the rants. They're awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Thinking Chip. I appreciate that. You definitely don't, don't have to be live when you subscribe. I'm glad you've been enjoying the bant friends. The bant deck is sweet. What's JAC? JAC is Jeskai Ascendancy Combo. It is a, it's a uh, spell-based combo deck that we play a bunch on stream. Judge, Jeff has a type. Yeah, I got you, Morisith. I got you. Just <clears throat> just wanted to say good morning. Death Cloud, please. P.S. Batman for the win. 10 out of 10. Sounds good. Zero. I'll get those applied there. All right. So, Cathartic Reunion means we're definitely bidding, bidding this stuff, right? Because they have, uh, I got kind of punished for not playing Faithless Dooding last turn because they're playing Chalice of the Void here. Well, that's that's quite excellent. Hey, O'Brien with the $10 donation. Can we get Blue Red Possibility Storm? 10 out of 10. The Possibility Storm deck was sweet. I'm happy, happy to add that one back in. Well, if they don't, I was going to say, if they don't rest in peace us, we're in a good spot to win. But actually, even if they rest in peace us, we're going to be in a good spot to win. Because using uh, Splice onto Arcane Tribal, we can actually go Shoal, Pitch, Worm, Splice through the Breach next turn and put this Gristle Brand into play. So, like, we're getting a pig into play next turn one way or another. 
Which Nourishing Shoal always Gristle Tech. This deck kind of waffled around on what people thought were the optimal configurations of it for a little while. They, people weren't always certain that this build was specifically optimal. So there were like some Grixis versions that went around and stuff like that. But I, I definitely, I'm very confident that this is the best Gorios Vengeance deck in Modern. Mathematically speaking, if the queue keeps growing at some point, every deck that Jeff is willing to play will be in the queue. That's true. That's true. They do work towards infinity, don't they? So um, I'm going to draw to 10 here. I am not going to... Oh, huh. Well, now that I have another Shoal in another room. So I was going to say, I actually want to use Nourishing Shoal before before I... Um, yeah, actually, and I am going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use Shoal. And, be, and the reason why I'm doing this is I want to generate enough mana to get this through the Breach out pre-combat, ideally. Put these on Maverick. We'll do Faithless Living. Thanks for the bits. I love this community. So many sweet decks. I know, right? It's just, just quite fantastic. Quite, quite fantastic. There's so many sweet things to do in Modern and Legacy, right? Like, when I look when I look at the donation queue, it makes me sad that people that can't get into Magic Online because it's not like a pretty video game are like never going to get to experience these types of games and decks in, in a format like Standard on Arena, right? It's really, it's really quite sad. All right, so those those are more worms. All right, so we're just we're just gonna floop we're just gonna floop a worm into play at this point, right? So we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go cast this desperate. Nah, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna cast the desperate ritual. And they can't path to exile the worm because they have a chalice of the void on one. You know, nice magic card. This, I don't know about Legacy slash Modern and Standard was my only, if I didn't know about Standard and Standard, I would have quit along, right? And, and I, like, honestly, so uh, that might be part of, like, the draw of it. I feel like Wizards knows that, like, Standard can have a hard time capturing a lot of players long term. So, like, Standard's, like, their introductory stuff, right? That's, like, the place they want people to start out. And then, like, you kind of graduate into these older, bigger formats that have neat, 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 wacky things to do. All right, so Brutality and Lightning Axe are probably coming out here. I think I want the Shattering Sprees. I probably want this Engineering Explosives too, because there's a good chance they're bringing in Rest in Peace out of the sideboard. I think I want to keep this Desperate Ritual in my deck, actually, because I think uh, Quick Breaches is probably ideal. If I'm expecting Rest in Peace out of them, do I want a Trimagorio's Vengeance here, maybe? I think I want to trim this. Usually, usually I just edge on trimming this against decks that could have a lot of graveyard hate. <clears throat> Good morning, original Kim Jong. Shattering Spree, yeah, Shattering Spree. So Shattering Spree, Chalice. In fact, we play Shattering Spree in our Chalice deck. So Chalice of the Void is a triggered ability when you cast a spell and you don't actually cast the replicas. So if you replicate Shattering Spree while there's a Chalice of the Void on one, the replicated copies still still kill the artifacts you target with them. It's still a little fresh when it comes to coding the actual time it takes me. In the actual time it takes to put a set in Arena, is it not even plausible that they'll ever incorporate Modern? So... The actual answer to that is they're probably not going to tell us if they ever plan to incorporate modern until they actually do it because that's actually really annoying. Um, that means we need to kill them before we attack, which is actually a pretty big deal, right? You not get another shattering spree like that. That's a pretty big deal because I can't like Borby and kill them post combat. And this also means there's a good chance my opponent's an ensnaring bridge deck. This means that I won't be able to, I won't be able to kill them through an ensnaring bridge. <clears throat> yep, the donation key right there, like Nivik, Nivik just pulled up. Hey, remember when I said they're almost certainly a rest in peace deck? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Cathartic Reunion.
I think I want a Faithless Looting here, because if we hit a land, we can breach them next turn. God, I need to... Oh, fuck. Wow, I messed that up. Um, man, that's actually a pretty big deal, huh? <clears throat> so, my mistake here, for those that aren't seeing it, I shouldn't have played my land before I cast this spell, because now I can't play this Temple of Tilt. Could I have breached this turn? No, breach cost five mana. I only had four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, wow, that's rough. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to bin this now, especially since I drew this Night's Whisper, and then like next turn I'll go Temple of Malice, Scry, Night's Whisper. And they could, I kept, I kept the Shattering Spree because they couldn't Snaring Bridge us this turn. And actually, I'm going to scry post Night's Whisper because it's a little bit more information about what we have going on. So we're looking for an untapped land here, actually. Dang. It's going to be a Planeswalker of some sort. Sure. All right. So hopefully there's there's a non-zero chance we brick off next turn. So the fact that they have this ley line in play means we have seven less cards to draw. Correct. If we breach Rome, we don't get token. So what we need to do here is we need to be able to combo them. Um, we need to be able to put Gristlebrand and Worm into play before we attack here, which is kind of difficult to do. which is kind of difficult to do. So like our Borborygmoses are not are not live at this point because of the ley line of sanctity. I need to draw a worm in these seven cards or a Borby. All right, we hit a worm. Um, oh shit, am I out of fast mana? I think I'm out of fast mana actually. Yeah, maybe. I think I was supposed to end step breaching. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I fucked up. All right, so I, I still have plenty of tools in my hand, though. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try and recover from my mess up here. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill this Nahiri, and then no. So I don't. I actually don't have enough fast mana left in my deck. No, I have my board and my ritual out, I think. Oh, there is another ritual in my deck. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I, well, I, now I've thoroughly fucked up. So let's just exile this and do this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pass the turn here and ditch some of these extra cards in my hand. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I thought I made a mistake and then I made a bigger mistake and it kind of compounded on me. So I definitely want to keep these shoals because I need those to generate extra mana later. I think I'm just binning these Knights Whispers at this point. And then I need to keep this Shattering Spree in the event they draw a bridge. Do I just ditch this other land? I think I just ditched the other land, right? Yeah. I definitely messed that turn up. Mmm, that's a beating. That means I have to burn two spirit guides. Untapped land. All right, I think I, I just been a through the breach at this point, right? Pretty sure. Does that use all my breaches though? Or anything that would leave one breach in my deck. Do I ban Nourishing Shoal here? I 
I could gamble and ditch the shattering spree. Because I have... I have another shattering spree in my deck. But they haven't played a bridge yet. I can't ditch Gristlebrand. I can't ditch... I don't think I want to ditch these shoals. It's the Shattering Spree or the Breach. I'm pretty sure I want to ditch. I guess I could shoal, splice the other shoal, and then, or, or shoal, pitch, shoal, splice the Breach onto that. At their end step, that lets me use a Breach twice. It means I get to draw less cards, but... I've also only got 30 cards in my deck. No, we're, we're not breaching, but I'm actually gonna ditch a breach here. And I think my my play is going to be during their end step, uh, shoal, pitch, shoal, splice, breach. Morning Apprentice. Yeah, I think, I think that's definitely my line here. I think it's worth being conservative and holding this in case they have a bridge, because like bridge is how we lose this game. You always, and that's what you wanna be doing, right? You always wanna be asking yourself how how do I manage to lose this game? And then you want to play around how you lose it. This actually doesn't matter. You have rest in peace. I don't care about my two mana spells. And this like this game, if we win, is like kind of a textbook example of, hey, you should kill your opponent. You shouldn't just disrupt them. It's a good example of like why prison decks by and large. Let me make sure I click the right thing. Splice. Splice the spells. This is a good example of like why, why prison decks aren't particularly good and modern because like the prison elements just aren't that good and you need to actually kill your opponent in this format and like my opponent's not killing us so we're just gonna like play through their disruption with our powerful combo deck what's going on brecken sky morning hey look at that all right they could technically have a bolt here i suppose if i draw too many and that, uh, that's just lethal as is, right? Because I kept the breach. I need to have Paths Exile here. All right. All right. Good, good, clean 3060. It's a good, it's a good morning to be flooping the pigs, chat. The piggies are coming. The piggies are coming. So I definitely foobarred that, that second game up there a little bit, but the power of the deck pulled us through it. Oh, this is probably a mulligan, right? Triple breach is a little bit awkward. We don't have a guaranteed second land. Yeah, we could definitely do better at six. Forty minutes, three fifths away. I mean, th these leagues are usually about an hour. These leagues are usually about an hour. Tracks with the bits. Thank you very much. Pride bomb. Get it. Get it. Oh, they're gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Ah. Um, my favorite modern deck right now is just Kai Ascendancy combo. It's ten out of ten. I think I'm playing that at a five k this weekend in Chicago. I think I'm supposed to mulligan this. I guess I have Cathartic Reunion. So like maybe that makes this keepable because it lets me filter through it. Is that fine? I'm just gonna mull again. We should find like Faithless Suit and Gristlebrand then it's way better. Sounds like not amazing, but fine. We're gonna bottom this. We're just looking for Gristlebrand at this point. Just like bin him, floop him. Hollowed Fountain. Cathartic Reunion is not good against Hollowed Fountain. Magic's fucking great. I love this game. Have I mentioned? Have I mentioned how much I love this game? Have I mentioned how much I love this game. Thinking about getting a standing desk. The, the uplift desk is great. Please, please, if you buy one from them, put my name in the comments because they should. They should really. They should really give me a referral code. I've sold so many of their fucking desks. It's it's quite it's quite excellent. It's quite excellent. What's going on, Digitech? Devouring Abyss. And even if they want to remand this and not let me draw cards, like, I've already got this. I've already got this. I 
All right, tap out for Lad Chad, or search for as Kanta. Cast some, cast some irrelevant blue-white spell opponent. Geist of Saint Trash. Dealer's choice. I love that we have a candy emote now. That was such a good addition. So, on the YOLO scale, this deck is definitely towards the top. They didn't counter Cathartic Reunion last turn, which indicates they might not have a counter to me. Or they could be saving it. I don't know. I think they should have countered the thing that drew three cards, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Papa's read was correct. Hmm... Hmm, you have a path to exile? Oh no, oh no, opponent, please don't. Please. So, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, waiting exposes us to Cryptic Bear, which is more reason to go for it. I'm pretty sure they have a path to exile in their hand based on the pause they just did. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna move to combat and attack. And the reason I want to attack is because this way if I put in pass before they take damage, I get to draw in response to the path. And this way, see, if I just drew, my opponent would path in response to me drawing. And now I get a chance to draw another shoal here, which then lets me pitch worlds by more and keep drawing. Fuck, we missed. That was definitely the line. We're not rewarded for doing so. That's really unfortunate. <sighs> Reed was good, Variance was not. Sometimes sometimes you get 25 cards in your deck without a four of. That's fine, we've been running pretty good so far. Been running pretty good so far. Are they dead? I got 20, how many lands do we have? We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Can only deal 15 to them. <sighs> so the way this worked out, I actually got kind of punished here. So this is, yeah, yeah, we have time. We have time. The problem is we don't get to keep all of these cards, chat. Like, I'm going to have to discard most of these things. Um, so can I put in Borby and World Spine Worm this turn? I think I can Borby and World Spine Worm, right? Because I can go... I need six mana to do that. Oh, I don't have mana morphos, right? I don't have mana morphos is the issue. Yeah, I think I just like make them have a second path here and just like cast breach. I already played a land this turn. This is turn three. Oh, I do have a black. You're right. I only have, I only have, uh, I'm, I'm short of mana though, right? I'm short of mana. I only have one, two, three, four, five. I need six to splice because this costs two, two plus four. So the most efficient use of my resources that I'm going to have to discard anyways is just put worm into play here, I think. Means I also discard five cards. They could have another path here. They do not. God bless. Um, so now I kind of want to maximize the number of 
the number of lands I keep right for this Borborygmos. Oh, yeah, I should have done this during my end step, right? Well, I mean, if they untap Verdict, I kill them with Borborygmos. So that actually doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I definitely, it's definitely correct to do it during my main phase because I kill them if they untap in Verdict because of Gorio's Vengeance for Borborygmos and the lands that I have. And if I do it during my end step, they could snap Path. Terminus would be very bad for us. That's true. All right, so what am I discarding here? I think I'm keeping like Knight's Whispers, Gorio's Vengeance here. I'm not expecting game one Graveyard Hate. Just want to keep all my land so I can kill them with Borbs. Keep all my land so I can kill them with Borbs. Cryptic Bounce is also beating. Well, Cryptic Bounce doesn't matter because we just untap and kill them, right? It's always the next card, right? Ain't that the truth? I'm gonna snap path here. That's fine, they're dead, right? Because they're going to at least 11. And I get to Gorio's Vengeance, then 12 them. That's true, the deck was shuffled by the worm. That's fair. Have you heard about my worm? I said a whoa, whoa, worm. Whoa, worm's a worm, I said a worm. Put this little piggy into play and go wee 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 all the way home. Boop, boop you, boop you right on the nose. Boop, boop you right on the nose. Boop, boop you right on the nose. Just give him, give him a little love tap there. You know, give him a little love tap. All right, so this is again a packed Collective Brutality matchup. It is a Cathartic Reunion out matchup. It's a Lightning Axe out matchup. So those, those three swaps are real clean. Do I want Chalice of the Void or Engineered Explosives in my deck is the question. This, <laughs> this is the most interesting degenerate deck in the format by and large, not close. So like the upside to Chalice is that like we kind of care about Path to Exile, especially so, especially with Rest in Peace, especially with Rest in Peace. Yeah, I had already dealt damage pikes. I didn't have, I didn't have the extra card to kill the, kill the Snapcaster for reference. I could also just run it like this. Yeah, I kind of like Chalice too. I think we're supposed to bring in a couple copies of Chalice. And what do I want to trim? This is like almost certainly a rest in peace matchup. And like trimming a faithful looting is fine anyway. So I could like trim this, trim Gorio's Vengeance. I think I like that. Hey, Soars, with the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. I do appreciate that. A quarter of a year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. Fuzzy continued support. I don't think I want EE. I think EE is a little medium. Maybe this is a a ritual out matchup rather than a Gorio's Vengeance out matchup, just in case. Nah. nah, I think this is fine. Maybe I do this and trim a ritual. Yeah, let's do that on the draw. We'll be, we'll be a touch more interactive on the draw. Well, this is an excellent Hearthstone hand and a very bad magic hand, so we're gonna go ahead and mulligan here. This hand's not, you're not excited to keep this hand, but you're gonna keep it. Run the draw with a scry. Like a faithless looting away from being quite excellent. Alright, second land will do. It turns on uh, Knight's Whispers and Collective Brutalities is good draws. I'm going to go ahead and bottom a land aggressively here, I think. Because, like, we're likely to find mana sources or things that let us put our pig into the discard pile. I'm literally here. Stop saying you need me. Get in my hand, faithless looting. Get in my hand. Let's 
It's another, it's another pig. I didn't need more pigs. I didn't need more pigs. So, so many pigs, so many pigs. There's so many pigs, chat. Is this gonna be, I think this is gonna be a discard to hand size, right? Yeah. Honestly, maybe I should have identified that that's what I was doing last turn when I drew the pig and I maybe should have skipped playing my second land two turns ago. Probably should have skipped playing my, my land two turns ago. Cause if I would have skipped playing my land two turns ago, we'd be able to be able to, ooh. I feel like they probably have a counter spell here. Do they counter Faithless? Probably not. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's tasty. It's tasty, chat. It's so tasty. It's so tasty. Looking for Pact of Negation here. <laughs> oh, magic is fucking great. I like to magic. I like, I like to magic. Magic, magic's a tough game, chat. Magic, magic's a tough game. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell, look, we knew how this league, no, don't rip me. Don't rip me. Stop it. Stop it. Don't rip me. Cast search for Ice Canter, some stupid blue white card. Oh, we left we left Terminus in our deck. That's nice. That's nice. Sorry. Right. Well, I'm gonna take this little piggy. This little piggy goes wee wee wee. All the way home. Alright, if they have two counter spells, we are gonna die here. They have they have a dispel or a spell snare, we're going to die. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta roll the bones and hope not to die. Ayo! Alright, so now I just draw again because if they path me, I shoal in response. Oh, they don't have a path either. Ooh, we drew another path of negation. Ooh, it's just so much candy, chat. So much delicious candy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right, what do I do? What do I do? There's so many choices. So many choices. So little time. All right, so we've got a bunch of shoals and a bunch of worms. So we'll go. We'll go full splice onto arcane tribal here. Splice, splice up the desperate ritual. Draw some more cards. And then we'll go splice this, pitch this, cast this, pitch this, put this other worm into play. I don't even, we don't even need to draw more cards. It's so sad because they're dead. It's so sad because they're dead. What if, what if I had more pact? Are there supposed to be three pact of negations in this board? I think there's a non-zero chance there's supposed to be three pact of negations in this board. Like just guys, what? What sequencing? Just get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Cast your other piece of interaction after you let me draw more of my deck. Get out of here. Just the casual 4080. Brush the shoulder off. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having at least half a good as Monday as I am. My name is Jeff Holcomb. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I love playing modern. It's a hoot. If you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel, or at the very least, check out some of my wonderful sponsors. Cardsteer.com would love to help you turn some of your magic cards into other cards or cash directly with other players. There's no haggling. They just take 1% fee off the top. 
Mac Weldon provides premium men's clothing using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Google clothes. You'll save 20% on your first order premium shirts, shoes, socks. I don't do shoes, socks, underwear, shorts, t-shirts, polos, all sorts of great stuff there. And of course, this stream wouldn't be possible without viewers like Anironix, Justin Nivik, and all y'all out there. Thanks for watching. There's a lot of great people and things you could be doing on a Monday morning. And I appreciate you choosing to spend part of your time here with us. Yeah, I think I think a third path might just be great in this board. I think the third path, the sorry, the third path, the third pact might be great. I did not lose any sponsors. I so unlike some magic streams that like bombard you with ads constantly, my goal is to make the advert short and concise. So when I reached a seven banner period in our sponsorship, I split them into two pages. We might have an eighth banner soon too. So like an eight banner ad break is a really long ad break. Make Chick-fil-A run, so I'll miss the 5-0. Happy flooping. Thanks, Morissette, for the bits. You could say there's a star in the city of ads between games. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. This hand's good, right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure 4-0 is a bannable offense for all decks. Look, I really hope that this deck gets super popular because if there was ever a deck, if there was ever a deck that could finally get fucking Simeon Spirit Guide banned, it's this fucking deck right here. It's this, it's this, if there was ever a deck in the history of modern that could get Simeon fucking spirit guide banned, it's this one. All right, so this is actually, do I put my gristle brand into the bin here? I think I do, right? I think I do. I have the Breach, but I don't have a Gorio, which makes it difficult. Can you kill them after they turn three Tron so I can get the bingo square? Um, this is, if I'm not bidding the Gristle brand, I, I think I'm supposed to wait on bidding the Gristle brand here. I think I'm supposed to bin Swamp, Swamp. This also plays around a Relic out of them because I'm going to have the flashback on the looting to bin the Gristle Brand later if I need it, right? I'm going to bottom this because I have looting flashback. This this punishes me if I draw exactly Gorio with Vengeance next turn, but I think it's the right play. Sweet. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to flashback this looting. Um, I think this is ditch these two now. That seems fine. All right, there's your, there's your turn three trine. I didn't let them get there on purpose, but they are getting there. Oh no, please don't card me. That card's actually annoying. That card's actually annoying. Ooh, they cycled it aggressively. That's good for us. Do you have another one? So we got three shots at Agorio's Vengeance next turn. Sh shoal untapped land doesn't do it because breach costs four chat breach costs five chat shoal oh we have a we have a spirit guide yeah you're right untapped land doesn't i'm done all right so let's guess this it's so many live draws there oh that actually does it right that does it kind of kind of kind of am i a card short i think i'm a card short i don't have enough cards in my hand fuck i don't have enough cards in my hand are we about to die? You about to die to fucking Tron? This deck is a good Tron matchup for reference, but 
Sometimes shit happens. Yeah, if I could if I only had to discard one card here, we could put we could put Gristlebrand into play. But because I have to discard two cards, I don't have enough mana. I actually don't have enough mana here. And this is this is like we've been running really well this league and like this deck's so people ask like what are what are this deck's bad matchups? This deck's worst matchup is itself. This deck's single worst matchup is itself. Chat, chat, we can't we can't put anything into play, chat. I have to get rid of two of these cards. I need five, six of these cards to through the breach this turn and still have a monster. I guess I just ditch these two and I hope they don't kill my lands next turn. I think that's the line. Go. Hopefully it's just like a worm coiler in again. Yep. Jeff, this is taming the mighty boob worm. Thanks for the bits extras. Alright, there's the Ulamog. Yep. Alright, so we need we need an untapped land or a mana source here. God, that's we ran really fucking rancid here. I I guess we go pitch spirit guide, pitch spirit guide, flashback, faithless looting. We can draw Gorios plus mana source here. Dead. Right. Uh, I think we actually, we almost don't sideboard here, right? Like Lightning Axe comes out. C collective Brutality comes in. I, I guess Shattering Spree is fine. Because they have the stupid, the stupid, what's it called? The stupid, uh, blah, 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 thing I'm who's it's artifacts that are annoying. And again, like this, this is one of the reasons why I think this deck isn't particularly popular because this deck's games are very polarizing. While you ride very high while you're winning, you run very low when you're losing. Your deck effectively just doesn't do anything. However, this hand, this hand, if they don't got surgical. So some of the Tron decks from last weekend had surgicals in their board, which are a little bit scary. But if they don't have a surgical here, they'll be very dead. And if they do have a surgical, that's okay. That just means they wanted it more than we did. So, you know what? I think I messed up and was supposed to bend the cathartic reunion last turn. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Ooh, 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 candy chat. We found some candy. Floop this little piggy into play. And this little piggy's gonna go wee all the way home all right so have i found any mana monkeys yet i have not so cast this exile this looking for a pair of mana monkeys here so we can splice this ritual onto our next one. Oh, look at that i found a pair of mana monkeys all right so we'll go cast this splice additional spells exile this click on this ritual exile these two how unlucky you didn't win on the first draw seven, right? That's what I'm saying. That's the gosh, the gosh darn confirmed unluckiest. All right, and then we go shoal, cast this, exile the worm. I have a borb in here, right? Yeah, okay, so cast this through the breach, pitch this mana monkey, floop this other little pig into play. And the little piggies are going to run my opponent down. Let's go! Did you have fun, opponent? Was it good for you? It was good for me. It was good for me. hope it was good for you. Does this deck have problems with burn? Our deck has four copies of gain 11 for free at instant speed. Our burn matchup is pretty. What dope? Do the kids say dope? If I say the burn matchup is dope, does that make me hip with the lingo? I 
and all day long memeing today. We, we're playing modern. We're gonna play black green rock next, which is not a meme, but we're gonna we're gonna play we're gonna play a variety of things. As of yesterday, it's still lit. Okay, okay. I need to I need to channel channel my energy here. So this hand is pretty good because my opponent's gonna mulligan aggressively for their graveyard hate, and this is a through the breach. A Nexus VI. Things are getting serious with the 2 on 3 subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate Z continued support. If they don't have Graveyard Hate here, we get to Knight's Whisper on 2 and bend the Gristle Brand to hand size, which is great. Respond to that tweet later. All right. Yep. There's a relic. Okay. So that means I don't want. They also aren't going to have Tron until turn four at a minimum. Yeah. Now and now exactly. Now we just discard the Gorio's Vengeance to hand size instead of the Grishel Brand. Where's the DCMA tweet? No, I meant uh, someone was asking about standing desks. Uh, we're just going to be in the Gorio's Vengeance here because they have this. And again, like, this is one of the reasons why I really like this deck is because when your opponents have the Graveyard Hate, you can just sidestep it. I guess I could, if they tapped out, I could keep the... They're probably not going to tap out, right? Like, tapping out with this up seems like a pretty big mistake. And like now they're not gonna have Tron until turn five. So like they're just giving us infinite time to set up for our through the breach here, which is quite excellent for us. Borby. Um, I'm gonna bottom Borbs, right? Although I guess I kinda wanna draw Borbs at some point. Yeah, I probably want Borbs, right? I think I want him, so I'm gonna need a Borbs to end the game. But there's two Borbs in my deck, right? Yeah, I'll bottom him. I am extremely salty that the standing desk place hasn't given me a referral code. Extremely salty. I have I have sold so many more of their products than it probably any other person. I donated you for a list of Marvel and Twitter I donated for. Oh, I sent you the list. Okay, sounds good. Oh, oh this is, well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So we're going to lose our pig here. We're going to lose our pig. Yeah, we get we get a couple of shots here. We get a couple of shots here. We could also just draw another Gristlebrand plus a Gorio's Vengeance. So like, honestly, there's definitely, like the person that said earlier, maybe I should have kept the Gorio's. All right, what lottery numbers are we playing today, chat? What are, what are, what are the numbers? What are we playing? What do you think? What do you think? What do you, what do you think are, what number should we play? Please put your lottery predictions in chat. Because I feel, I feel obligated to go play. I feel obligated to go play the lottery. I feel like it is only fair and reasonable that we go play the lottery. I feel like it's, it's, I feel like it's required of me at this point. It would be criminal not to go play the lottery. Big beanie cap, damn. See, there we go. God bless. God bless. All right. So, and this shoal conveniently puts us to 15 health which lets us draw 14 more. It's a good thing Matt's not watching this league. He'd make me play Grishel Brand this weekend instead of uh, Just Guy Ascendancy. All right, so we're just gonna keep drawing cards here. I actually haven't hit Spirit Guides yet, right? I have one Spirit Guide and one Ritual. Uh, sorry, I have, there's one Ritual left in my deck still, so we're gonna do this, exile a green card.
Right play holding double breach, I was wrong, right? All right, so there's spirit guides and a ritual, so I can... So I have two spirit guides here, right? So I can go spirit guide, spirit guide, splice... Splice onto whatever. I should just attack them first, right? Because I have a boar beast, so I might as well just like get my extra hit points and guarantee it. Where is my... Where is my boar bat? Where is my boar bat? My boar is right there. All right, so let's, let's attack them. I'm watching, I'll be sure he checks it out. What's going on, Banks? All right, so that's perfect. Is that enough for lottery numbers today? Also put these bits towards killed feed. Sounds good, Kankle, will do. Thank you for the support. All right, so let's just start. Let's get our, let's get our splice into Arcane Tribal on. Do you think do you think my opponent had fun? Do you think do you think it was good for them? It was good for me, and that's what matters, right? I'm a selfish modern player, all I care about is that it was good for me. Cast through the breach. Well, aside from the game where we got exceedingly unlucky, we uh, we ended up winning here. There's there's my favorite peg. My opponent's playing Tron fun is irrelevant. Yeah, every every time every time I lose a game to Tron with a fair interactive deck, I'm just like, man, I could be doing this to them. I could be doing this to them. Go on, will we kill the thought? We probably should have killed the thought nods here. Alright, so that's a good clean 5-0 with Grishel Brand there. Um Let me tell you about decks that are great when you run hotter than the sun. I'm gonna actually slide another Pact of Negation into the sideboard of this deck before we wrap up, because I, I am pretty confident, pretty confident that I want an extra Pact of Negation in my sideboard at this point. I don't know exactly what I want to cut, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, the, the uplift desk is great. If if anybody out there is in the market for a standing desk and you end up picking up an uplift desk, please put my name in the comments of the order because I emailed back and forth with their marketing guy a couple of times. And I think I'm pretty sure that old people just don't understand like that Twitch is a real marketing platform that they should be leveraging because he just stopped returning my emails and it really annoyed me. And I've definitely sold multiple of their desks. I use MTGO traders who buys and sells magic online cards. They're great. Gress, yes, the I feel like the the games that you lose feel so bad that people tend to forget about the games that you won a lot of the time with Grishel Brand. I think is I think is what it comes down to, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, I wanted a second forest in this mana base, I think, right? I think I wanted a second forest in the mana base. I might swap that real quick. McCullough with the two month three subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 